All right, what we're going to do in this tutorial is just solve a couple of problems involving unit price. Well, this problem is saying that a six pound pack of ground beef sells for $13.44. And we have to determine the cost per pound of ground beef. And remember, whenever you are finding the unit price of something, it's going to be a division problem. So what we have to do is take the total price of $13.44 and divide that by the six pounds to see how much the ground beef would cost per pound. Well, this decimal has to be moved up and then we can divide six into 13 and it fits in a total of two times. So we can pull two groups of six out of 13, which is 12. And that leaves us with one. And then we bring down the next digit, which is a four. And six fits into 14 twice. And two times six is 12, which leaves us with two. And then we bring down this four, which gives us 24. And six goes into 24 four times. So the ground beef has a cost of $2.24 per pound. All right, let's go ahead and do another example involving unit price. All right, so this problem states that Jenny needs to buy a bag of rice at the grocery store. And we have to determine which bag of rice has the smallest unit price. So to solve this, we basically have to do four division problems. So let's start with choice A. So we have a 90 ounce bag that costs $2.79. We're going to have to divide that by 90. So we have to start by taking this decimal and moving it upwards. And 90 does not fit into 2, nor does it fit into 27. So we have to put a 0 on top of that 7. But 90 can fit into 279, a total of 3 times. And 3 times 90 is 270. And that leaves us with 9. Technically, nine is in the hundreds place, so we have nine hundreds remaining. So what we have to do now is add a zero in the next place and bring that down and continue our division. And 90 fits into 90 exactly once. So the cost per ounce of this bag of rice is a little bit more than three cents per ounce. All right, let's take option B, which is $2.72 divided by 80. All right, so we have to move our decimal up first. And 80 cannot fit into 2, nor 27. But it can fit into 272, a total of 3 times. And 3 times 80 is 240. That leaves us with 32. So we add another zero, bring it down to continue our division. And 80 fits into 320 exactly four times. So this bag of rice is also a little bit more than three cents per ounce, but it's a little bit more expensive. So we have a four here in the thousands place and we have a one here in the thousands place. So this bag of rice is three thousandths of a cent more expensive than this one. All right, let's go ahead and look at bag C here, which is $2.10, and we have to divide that by 70 ounces. So 70 does not fit into 2, nor into 21, but it fits into 210 exactly three times. So we don't have anything remaining. So we would say that for a 70 ounce bag of rice, that's $2.10. The unit cost would be three cents per ounce. And we have one more scenario. The fourth bag is $1.86 for 60 ounces. All right, so we bring our decimal up and of course we have to put a zero here. And we have to put a zero here because 60 does not fit into 18. And 60 fits into 186 three times, which is a product of 180. And that leaves us with 6. So we add another 0 and bring it down. And 60 goes into 60 just one time. All right, so we have four different answers here. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's 
line these up. So for scenario A, the rice costs 0 0.031 cents. For bag B, we have a cost of 0 0.034 cents per ounce. Bag 3 is 0.03 exactly per ounce. And the last bag is 0 0.031 cents per ounce. So we can see that bag A and bag D are identical in cost, but we have to find the smallest unit price. Now, if I were to add a zero, just so these decimal values are the same length, we should be able to see that this is the smallest value here. I added the zero here so it can be in the thousands place. So all of these values are in the thousands place. And 30 thousands is the smallest value that we have here. So scenario C or this bag right here has the lowest unit price. All right, so that was just a couple of quick examples of problems that involve unit cost.